Hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA Made Easy tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to be learning about creating 3D text in a 2D environment. Now you might be saying this is beginner tutorials, how are you going to teach us 3D in a 2D environment? Well we're not going to be creating 3D space or anything, we are just going to create the illusion of 3D text. If you didn't notice that a lot of things that happen in um, in 2D games and stuff that look 3D are based off of light effects and color shading and all that all th these different advanced subjects. If you do a little bit of um, if you do a little bit of tricks in XNA, you can give the illusion of something being sort of 3D. And what I mean. Um, by that is this so let me run the program so let's zoom in so let's press F5 to run the program and as you can see then it kind of looks like it's sort of 3d because we have the gray shade behind it and then um, I have a little program set up for here just to make it more 3d or less 3d right and uh, this tutorial should be fairly interesting to you guys. So what is happening in this program is that we're writing, we're just writing a bunch of the same letters more than once in a darker color to make it look that, and we're shifting it a little bit to the left to make it look as though it is 3D. And I'll show you how we get this effect. So this is the same program as our last tutorial just with a few things added. So if you start a new project then I would suggest you open up the one from last tutorial. So right here we've added a new um, a variable called depth and it's equal to 4. That will be the default value of the depth. Now let us go to update. So let's scroll down until we get to over here so we say that if the person presses A on the Xbox controller or they press the W key on the keyboard then we increase the depth and if they press the B button on the on the Xbox 360 controller but they press S on the key or they press S on the keyboard then we decrease the depth if the depth is less than or equal to zero, then we reset it to back to one. And then everything else in the pro in the update method is fairly simple. So what is the depth? Basically the depth is the greater the depth, the more 3D we're trying to get, and the less the uh, lesser the depth, the less 3D we want. So if I open the program again, uh, when I press the W key, we get more depth. And when I press the S key, we get less depth. Okay? So this is what we had originally before. And then when we do this, we add sort of a 3D sort of effect on it. On our image, on our text. So let me scroll down. And uh, let's go to the actual drawing. And this is fairly simple. I have a for loop that says uh, it goes for from 0 to to the depth and it increases i by one each loop if you don't know about four loops then i would suggest that you learn about your basics now in this loop we create a new vector called draw position and the position is going to be equal to position dot x subtract i and position dot y subtract i so basically what this is doing is it's drawing a bunch of layers of the same letter uh, or of the same um, of the same word right and towards the left of the image so first of all so basically let's look at it this way so um, let's put it to a depth of um, one so it has no depth right now so when I click W what it would do it would it would draw the word January dash 28 dash 12 right and then um, it would draw that in gray and then after that when we get to our actual drawing of the actual word then it will draw January-28-12 in white writing over the gray writing to make it look as though it has a 3D effect right 
and then the more depth we have then the more times we'll go through the loop and then the more gray um, the more times we will draw the January in gray and the more in depth it will look in X and A so after we draw our text in the gray color then we want to draw our original um, string in the white in the color white now when we're working with 3d generally generally the stuff that is behind in the background to make it look 3d you want to make it look darker and you want the far you want the, the thing that's in the front to be lighter if it's the other way around then it won't look right so if I do an example right here I switch them so let's run this program it still looks fairly 3d but it just doesn't look right in most situations so it's up to you which method you'd like to go for doesn't matter but most most of the times you want to make um, it a darker color in the background and for better effects I would I could set that to black and it will look a bit more 3d so the darker the color and the lighter the color the more the better it looks based on lighting and certain effects right so that's it for this tutorial hope you enjoy this tutorial and next tutorial is going to be based on single key presses okay so the next tutorial is going to be coming tomorrow at 12 a.m. if you don't know why the tutorials are coming at 12 a.m. then click my channel and watch the update um, video on the left out details and you I'll explain everything why I'm distributing everything at 12 o'clock a.m. every single morning so don't forget to watch tomorrow at 12 a.m. or whenever you have time to watch it so thanks for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it and bye